Hi guys, welcome in this tutorial. I'm MPDev from Totally Not Devs, and today I'm going to make my personal upgrade to one of Valem's tutorial. First of all, I would really like to thanks Valem for his great work in making always new videos with amazing features for VR developers. So check and subscribe his channel to support his work. And now let's start with the tutorial. I just made a sample scene where I have the classic over camera rig with both over custom and prefabs attached exactly in the left and right hand anchors. Then I divided my hierarchy with an empty game object for have it more clean and easy to read. Under it, I created another empty parent game object called gesture detectors with two child's game objects that will be our gesture detectors. And now let's check some scripts. This is the Valen script. It works great, but a few problems that gave me a null result in the console when I press play, making unable the script to work correctly. This is caused by the variable finger bones. It's correctly initialized in the start function, but the Oculus hand script take more time to initialize the bones. This means that we are trying to set the bones of a specific hand before that the Oculus hands initialize their bones. Also, in my script, I changed the part in the update, where the gesture is recognized and then invoke the event. I made these changes just for my purposes, so you will free to choose if continuing using this in this way or in the way I will show you. Now, let's pass to my script. I will start by explaining every modify I made to my script to make you understand why I made these changes and after that I will show you how to make it work with an easy example. As you can see, I put a lot of comments in my script because for me it is also like a documentation. Can happen sometimes that you open a script, read some function, but you don't remember well what they are used for. But in this way, in my opinion, you will keep your work always organized and easy to understand. I added a few things, for example, these two booleans and an unity event that will be called when the gesture will be not recognized anymore. I will explain to you why I did this later. In the start function, I just called a coroutine called delay routine. Essentially, delay routine is a simple coroutine method, very useful for a lot of purposes and basically it just call a specific function with some delay in float that you will pass in its parameters. I made this because as you can read from the comments, Oculus hands take few seconds to initialize. So this is needed to avoid the null reference at the start. With some delay then, we will call the function where we set the finger bones with the method set skeleton and then we change to true the boolean called as starter. Then the second part I modified is in the update. I put an if statement to check if uh, as starter is true. That mean, if the initialization was successful, the script will start to check our gestures. Then in the part with as recognized, I removed the previous gestures variable because for my purposes, I wanted to check it constantly if we are making a recognized gesture. And if it's recognized, we will invoke the method we want and change the boolean done to true. In the health part instead, if the gesture is not recognized anymore and if the done boolean we changed earlier is still true, even if we don't recognize the gesture anymore, then we will set done to false and call just one time the event for the not recognized gesture. Now, I will show you a simple example I made to make work this gesture recognize. In the hierarchy, create two new empty game objects. We need each one for each hand. Then call them shoot left hand and shoot right hand. Then let's create a new script and associate it in both game objects we just created and call it shoot manager and then open it. This script, basically, 
make you able to shoot bullets from your hand when the gesture is recognized. Delete the start and update functions and create these variables. The first one is a transform called hand, mainly will tell us where the bullet will be instantiated. After that, a game object variable for the prefab of the bullet. Then I wanted to make something nice, so I created an enum called shoot mode that can be auto or single, and under it, we will going to make the enum public called shoot mode so we can select it in the inspector. Create also a boolean called as shoot and set it to false, and then a private float called time to fire initialized at zero. Now, after we created all these variables, create a public void called on shoot, and inside of it, we will start a switch method and the argument of the switch will be modality about we want to fire the bullet. So in case of auto, we will shoot constantly the bullet in base at its fire rate. Instead, in case of a single shoot, we set the boolean has shoot to true and then shoot the bullet one time. Then create the void called shoot where essentially we will going to instantiate our bullet prefab in base at the hand transform position we attach in the variable and uh, with a quaternion dot infinity as rotation. Under it, we change the bullet to local rotation in base at the end transform rotation. So we will be able to fire the bullet in the direction of the hand. The last method will be stop shoot, where the boolean has shoot will be just resetted to false. Return to the editor, and now we will going to create our bullet prefab. For it, I just created an empty game object with a capsule collider with the direction in the z-axis and give to it a rigid body without gravity. Then a simple trail renderer for create the trail of the bullet and then create and attach our bullet script that is in charge for the behavior of the bullet. Open the script and create five variables. The first one will be a public float called speed. Set it to 20 and this is the speed of the bullet. The second public float called fire rate. Set it to 1 at the beginning and this is for the fire rate of the bullet. The third public float called time before destroyed. Set it to 5 and this need to count how many seconds we need to destroy the bullet after it is instantiated. And the fourth is a private boolean called collided, set it to false, and is needed to check if we collided with something. And the last one is a private variable for the rigid body component and set it to null. Then in the start method, we will initialize the rigid body. Also, we will already call the destroy function for this game object that is the bullet, but we give it a second parameter that is the time before destroyed as delay. I removed the update function and changed it with the fixed update. And basically we do the check if the speed is different from zero and if the rigid body is not null. Then we will going to say to the rigid body of our bullet to increase its position in the transform.forward multiplied by the product obtained from speed multiplied by time dot delta time. In the end, a private on collision enter, so we check if the game object which we collided is different from the bullet and if collided is false. If true, we set collided to true, the speed of the bullet to zero, and then we destroy immediately the bullet. Ok, after that we return to the editor and in the bullet prefab we have already created, set the correct tag to bullet, if you don't have one, just make a new one. Inside the hand of the oculus, I created correspondingly a game object for each hand called hand spawn shoot left and the other called hand spawn shoot right. Make sure that the position and the rotation are set correctly. Return 
in both of our shoot manager scripts and add in the spawn transform the correct game object we created in the hands. Set also the prefab for the bullet and keep at first the shoot mode to auto. In our detectors game objects, I already saved a simple gestures. Also, check that you put correctly the hand skeleton in the right script. In the gesture, open the or recognize event and we will set the left shoot end in the left detector end and of course the right shoot end in the right detector's end. After that, we are going to select shoot manager and then the function on shoot for both the game objects. In the not recognized event, we do almost the same as earlier. In the left, put the shoot left and in the right, the shoot right, but this time we select in the shoot manager, the stop shoot function. Check that everything is set correctly and now we can try to play. You will notice that now if you will make the gesture you saved, we will spawn correctly the bullet in the direction of the hand and in the auto mode until you will make the gesture the bullet will be spawned. And instead, if you try to set the shoot mode from auto to single and then test it again, this time you will shoot the bullet only one time because we set the boolean as shoot to true and for set it to false again is enough to, to don't do the gesture anymore. For call the not recognized event and set the bool to false again. This was everything for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and if you have any problems or you want to suggest more tutorials, don't hesitate to write in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you soon!